the steering wheel of sin is factored in your appetite. And the goal of sin is to take you away from God. If you are not a man of prayer, you have not found a secret to live above sin. Our ancestors, apostolic ancestors said, a praying man will stop sinning and a sinning man will stop. So when you see someone that has not gained mastery in the area of his appetite, it's, God will not kill all the beautiful girls in Bini because you have come. No. It's like, ah. I was with a pastor and we'll be talking, we'll be talking, we'll say, eh, see the cough, see the cough. So I knew he was an accident looking for where to happen. In fact, I had to escape from him because if you are close to a man that is noticing, you too will start noticing. You'll be infected. What gives you the ability to live above sin is that you are perpetually in the place of prayer. No, no holiness without mastery in prayer. Prayer is, is a paralyzing drug. It paralyzes the flesh. Huh? Are you there? You just noticed that uh, you are beginning to have feelings for a lady. That one that comes to greet you in the morning. If you are a man like me, you will put yourself on a prayer diet. It takes three days to kill that thing. It takes three days. I've done it over and over and over. I can give you a prescription. Are you there? So when you find a man that is still not, he has not mastered how to keep his appetite together, it means he has not been shaped by prayer. Are you with me? When you see a man that lacks direction, because it's possible for you to be anointed, but yet you lack direction, it is because you were not shaped by prayer. You were praying to preach, not praying to live. Praying to receive message from God. So that you can preach and they say, a new prophet has come to town. You have the anointing upon you, but you have not exploited the anointing that is within you. The anointing within you is for your daily life. The anointing that is upon you is for your service. So you have perfected the service angle. You have not perfected the living angle. Because if you want to perfect the living angle, you'll notice you have an anger issue. You make that anger a subject of prayer, calling God to judge it. You stay on it until the Holy Ghost goes to work and he arrests that anger and he strangles it. Are you there? That's how to pray to live. You see that there is, because of your past, in Uniben, you slept with 98 girls before you left 400 level. And those spirits of immorality will follow you. They are not so powerful. You know that you have an immorality issue. You focus on it in the place of prayer. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the night. God, I can't continue like this. You must help me on this matter. You must help me on this matter. You will see that God will strangle immorality and the appetite for it will dry up. Are you there? 